Hi everybody, this is CP Readings and this reading is a love message. Okay, let's see what is happening between you and your person. What are the important messages? This reading may or may not be for you, okay? If it's not for you, then leave it for somebody else. All right. Um, if any part of this video resonates with you, do hit that like button so you know the video, it helps the video circulate. You can also check out the extended version of this reading linked down below in the description box. Okay. Let's see. In the extended, we will clarify more for the person you're connecting with. How are they thinking, feeling about you? Their next moves towards you, outcome of the situation between the two of you, advice, or messages, love notes. What is the divine guidance for you? And what does your person want to say if so? Okay, so do check that reading out. It will be linked below. Let's see what messages do we have for you. You can also uh, become a member on my Vimeo page. That way you get access to uh, a lot of videos all together per month, um, as well as uh, no contact updates that I will be posting. That is exclusive for that page only. So um, yeah, that is your choice. It will be linked below as well. Four of Swords. I'm also gonna be picking out um, divine guidance for you, lots of separate uh, love messages. So stick around till the end for those. Let's see. All right, right off the bat, what I'm getting here is that whoever you're connecting with um, struggles to um, make a choice, all right? Oh my goodness. Bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups with the Six of Swords here. I'm going to take the Knight of Cups. Let's see. Four of Wands. Wow. So you have pulled amazing, amazing energies, actually. Where do I even begin with this one? You know? Uh, right off the bat, what I'm getting is that this person struggles to make a choice about you. Okay? This person struggles to... Be upfront and honest, which is actually the worst, if you ask me. Because this person wants you, but I do not know what is their problem, honestly. And every time you trust this person, they betray you or you feel betrayed, okay? At times, it's not even that intense that they say nasty things to you. It is just their behavior that you feel really, really betrayed. And then you ask yourself, why did I even trust them in the first place, okay? So maybe I am seeing a cycle here with this person and a cycle of you feeling betrayed, okay? Um, right now, I feel like you're really trying hard to calm down, okay? It, it looks like there's so much that you want to say. There's just so much on your mind that you want clarifications on, but you're not saying it, okay? You're choosing to be silent, okay? Okay? But you're waiting. You're waiting for this person to come towards you. You're waiting for this person to give you the truth by themselves. Okay. Um, what I see here is that this person actually uh, wishes um, to be with you. Okay. This person wishes to be with you. But their approach towards you is very uh, indirect. All right. Um, for some of you... you it's either you rushed in towards this person or they rushed in towards you, okay? Somebody here rushed towards the other person and got disappointed, all right? So now I just see you in that energy where you're sitting and you're like, fine, I'm not really going to do anything about it. I still want to send that text to this person, but I'm not going to do it. Um, 
I want clarifications, but I'm not going to be the one who initiates. I feel like that is your energy right now. And deep down inside, I can understand you're, you're trying to calm yourself down, okay? Um, your person's energy is the Queen of Swords and the Page of Wands with the Knight of Swords. So that's, that's like um, lots of back and forth. Coming towards you, disappearing, and then coming back. Coming towards you, disappearing, coming back. Um, the thing here is that uh, this situation has come to a point where it looks like you're thinking that maybe it's not worth it anymore. Okay? Looks like it's like that turning point for you that you're just about to make that decision to drop this person or this whole situation. Okay? And with the judgment and the Two of Cups energy, I feel like just when you're letting go, this person's deciding to appear in your life again. Um, I feel like you dealt with somebody who was always scared of other people's opinions, who was always scared of what other people are going to say, and they never accepted you fully because of their fear, okay? And this person lacks emotional maturity, okay? I do not know... Like, it's looking like a problem here, okay? And I'm going to be very honest. You may like this person, love this person whatsoever, but they have, they have pissed you off several times by canceling on you, by ghosting you last minute, by not replying to your texts, by, yeah, just like ghosting you. Appearing in your life and ghosting you, that seems to be a norm here in this relationship, all right? But right now, you are at this point where I feel like other things in your life are going so good. It's like God is showing you that, you know, look at what I am giving you, you know? And it's a turning point for you because it, it's a time that you contemplate, all right? And I feel like once you make that decision, everything is going to be very clear. It looks like your intuition is screaming at you to do something. But you I'm going to say it. You are not courageous enough to do it because you fear losing this person still. OK, maybe you still love them. Maybe you still, you know, have attachment. That is completely fine. But I've, I have to say it. You know, now somebody's going to call me. No, I am a very courageous person. OK, then. And. What do I do about it? You do something about it. Come on. I mean, you don't have to inform the reader about what is not resonating with you, honestly. These are just messages. Um, I do feel like there are other people in queue. <laughs> so it's not just one person that you may have in your life or you will be having in your life. There are other people who will appear in your life from time to time. But because you got so fixated on one person, you never let anybody else in. Right now, I just see a decision being made here. Um, and it looks like you're just tired. You're just tired. Overall energy for this reading is the Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands. And that is your overall energy, okay? So you're attracting a perfect, near perfect. Nothing is perfect. But you're attracting at least a better relationship in your life, okay? But for this energy, I do feel like you have to let go of somebody who's not treating you right. Let's see, what is this Knight of Cups and the Four of Wands energy? Because I feel like there is going to be a new beginning in love for you, okay? There is a decision being made here about love between you and this person, okay? Eight of Cups. Yeah. Page of Swords. I 
I see somebody walking away here or deciding to finally walk away because feeling like it's a waste of time. I feel like you always like you always had good faith in this connection on this person. You always gave them the benefit of the doubt, but now it's getting to a point where you're just you're just tired. Like everyone has that, you know, limit. It looks like they've pushed the limit, okay? And I really don't feel like this person is letting you go. They're lingering on to you energetically. And this person has ego issues. This person has emotional issues. Okay. They are very toxic for you. Um, and no, I'm getting a very negative vibe. It's almost like somebody likes you, but they don't respect you, okay? And I have to say it the way it is. Come on. I mean, if you want honest messages, then here it is, you know? And I feel like not everybody has the courage to listen to those words and really digest them. It's really easy to jump and say, like, no, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Girl, you don't know them cards. But... It takes, it takes work when you're healing yourself, healing your heart, okay? And it's a tough message for you to hear, I believe, because you love this person deeply, truly, fully. But do they love you back? For a lot of you, this person loves you just for the sake of it, because it's convenient for them at, at times. And... Um, with the judgment and the two of cups. I am definitely getting, I'm definitely getting that this is a new relationship. This is a love connection that I see you being in in the future. Okay. Look at that. What is the outcome of the situation? And then I'm also going to pull the rest of the Oracle cards. You can also check out the link in the description box, which is going to take you to the extended for further clarifications about this situation and what is coming up for you next in love um, and any other divine guidance that you may need. What does, an, what does your person want to say if so? And, you know, you can also become a member on that page to get access to a lot of extended uh, and occasional no contact updates. So, it's up to you. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Yes. So the outcome of the situation is Ace of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Two of Cups. Look at that. This is lots of good energy. This is like a new stable beginning in love. Okay. So this is the universe's way of confirming that you will get what you want. Okay. It might take some time. And it might take you some healing to get to this place. But there, this is definitely a confirmation for you that there is somebody who is going to be appearing in your life when you will least expect it. And it's looking like a new, new beginning in love, honestly, okay? Let's see. What messages? All right. They want, <laughs> all right, marriage, waiting for you to talk, and they want to see you and make love. So there is marriage involved in this. For some of you, you could be married to this person. They're already married, or you will be married to somebody one day. But this person, whoever this is that you're watching this reading for, um, this is going to be a message for that person, whoever you're watching this reading for. They're waiting for you to talk. They're waiting for you to make the move towards them, okay? And they really want to be with you. Look at this. Okay? You both love each other equally. Yeah, 
you you like this person might love you but i really don't see them um being honest about it they will contact you perseverance so yeah this person is going to contact you but i feel like you've got choices to make you really have got choices to make children i feel like a lot of these cards are signifying that you will be having ch wedding oh my goodness you've got the marriage card twice so you will be married someday okay this is definitely you know a situation which involves marriage okay i see you finding love again perseverance you know keep going Let's see, what are the angel messages for you? Two flipped. Okay, within the next few weeks and remain positive. Okay, so somebody is going to reach out to you within the next few weeks. All right. I'm going to leave it at that. So that's about it. Those were the messages that popped out for you. Do check out the link in the description box, which is going to take you to the extended to find out more about where is this going even after the next few weeks or within the next few weeks, what is really happening. I'm going to clarify this card. I'm also going to clarify wedding um, energy here. Uh, I'm going to clarify uh, what does your person want to say to you and what is the potential of a relationship here as well as any other divine guidance that you may need and you can apply that to any area of your life not just love okay my extendeds are not just about love they are about you as well um or you can become a member on my vimeo page to get access to um, a bunch of extendeds as well as um occasional no contact updates okay so both of those links will be in the description box for you guys to check out that's it. Do give this video a like. Claim this message. Okay. Claim this new beginning by giving this video a like and subscribe to my, subscribing to my channel. All right. This is Suthi Readings. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.